Now to the coral crisis, scientists desperately working to save the vital reefs from the historic heat we're experiencing right now in Florida waters. Local Times' Cody Weddle is live on Virginia Key with the latest rescue efforts. Cody. And Louie, researchers have been working throughout the day today to collect this coral. And I want you to take a look at it and specifically take a look at its color. The good news here is that it does have color. Uh, if it were white, that would mean that these extreme temperatures would have already had a significant impact on it. So researchers here are hopeful they have acted in time. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's very depressing to be in this situation. A race against the clock rescue mission off the coast of Virginia Key. Today's all about going out and collecting and saving as much coral as we can. The refugees, the corals that populate South Florida's barrier reef, the third largest on the planet. Their home has become too hot. We're not talking about you know, a day of warm water. It's, it's been hot for 17 days straight. The corals can survive in temperatures up to 84 degrees, but water temps have soared to over 90 degrees for the past three weeks. The hot water causes the corals to start to shed the algae that allow them to photosynthesize and feed. They turn white and will eventually starve to death. These corals are so stressed they're throwing out their batteries and without that, you know, they're, they're weakened. The University of Miami's Rosenstill School started this mission to save the coral on Tuesday after reports of mass bleaching of some coral in the Keys. The idea is to save as many corals, as many unique genotypes from as many species as possible, keeping them on land below the, uh, the thermal threshold level. Researchers hope to create a genetic bank like of coral so that the reef can be repopulated when the temperatures subside. If we have yearly bleaching events, bleaching uh, anomalies, then you know we are really in for a, for a bleak future. So take a look again at this coral here. Some of these are nursery grown coral. That means that uh, they were grown as part of an effort to repopulate the reef. So researchers here really just trying to save their work. As you heard from the professor there, the real concern here is what if these uh, abnormal water temperatures become more common? If that happens, that's just a scenario, a devastating scenario where these coral cannot survive in the wild. We're live on Virginia Key. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.